Welcome back to the I Smile series, uh, project management topic today. Um, one of the common questions we receive sometimes is what are the differences between project phases and project stages? Well, depending on who you are and where you are, maybe nothing. Uh, it's quite common to hear the word phase among North American English speakers. They use the term phase to represent a piece of a project, which I'll explain next. And more a British kind of English speaker, they use the word stage. So for most organization, in most literatures that we've seen on project management, there is no difference between the word phase and stage. They are the same things. Now, what are they? Well, before we can answer, maybe we need to go back to the concept of project life cycle. Every project ideally should have a project life cycle that have a beginning somewhere and an ending somewhere. Now, let's forget this somewhere for now. Stay with the beginning and end. So there is a life span or a span of time um, end to end for a project. Now, typically most projects um, they are broken down into a shorter span of time that in each when in each one of those short span of time we are or the organization or the project team should be working on uh, a specific item like design or construct or code or test uh, usually a well-defined scope of work that should be done and and with some kind of a deliverable can be referred to as a phase or a stage. Now, phases in most in the industry and stages are very unique, uh, or they are more uh, organization type or industry or sector. So they are not the same. They are not fixed. We cannot say we have. Phase one in all industries is the same. So, uh, for example, in engineering construction uh, or petroleum project, typical phases might include design basis, uh, project management plan or strategy or delivery, or we might have then what we call preliminary engineering, then we have detailed engineering, then we have construction, and we have commissioning. These are names, for example, that are common in the uh, capital project industry. Other industries might have uh, preliminary analysis or master planning or uh, then design, then um, development, then testing. Again, because of the nature of the life cycle as a function of the, uh, or, uh, the sector, the business sector, the industry where the project is being done, there is no unique uh, or there is no standard fixed type of a life cycle, so it varies. However, regardless where you are, we go back to the concept of the life cycle. It usually is broken down to help with the project, to, uh, with project delivery and to, in order to enhance the chance of success of a project. Ideally, we break the project into phases or stages. Uh, and again, each one of them have a specific focus. We uh, work to deliver a certain output. Now, in the Scott Camp model, we differentiate between phases and stages. We use both terminologies, and we use a three phases uh, approach that is we consider standard across all type of project. And then we have in our standard model nine stages, and these stages could vary from industry to industry. I will not expand on these today. We'll expand on them on another topic at another time. Um, hopefully this was good to explain the difference between phase, what is the phases, what are stages, and the relationship with the project life cycle.